thanks for joining me today. Our do-it-yourself centerpiece today is going to be surrounded around graduation. I know I've done another graduation centerpiece, but this one's going to be a little bit bigger. It's more for a place guard table um, or, um, you know, a hors d'oeuvre table, cake table. It's um, a bit larger, and um, so I thought you guys might have fun making this today. Very few components are needed for this uh, centerpiece. And we're going to start with our oversized shape for our graduate. Uh, colors are blue, black, and gold. Those are the colors of our graduate's um, school. And then we have our styrofoam base, which I've already painted and glittered everything just to save us a little bit of time so that the video isn't too long. Our guest of honor's name, Brittany. We've used Brittany before, but um, we're going to use her again since this is her graduating year. And here's the 2012 for this year. And then I also have this little rectangle, which I'm going to show you where that's going to go because I'm kind of layering um, one of our components today so that it has a little bit of a pop. Um, so let me just uh, grab my glue gun and we can start putting it all together, okay? Well, I had a little malfunction with the glue gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what's called pan glue, which is over here in my pot. Um, it is really cool, though, for doing large crafting projects. Um, it gets very, very hot and it's easy to use because you don't have to always use the glue gun. Um, and sometimes you can just spread your glue really quickly um, and it dries really fast just like hot glue it's very very hot actually I'm going to turn it down because it's I can feel it's getting really warm over here okay so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to attach our oversized grad shape to our base and I'm going to put that pretty much in the center um, maybe a little bit more towards the front of our um, of our base so I'm just going to take a little popsicle stick here and I'm going to stick my popsicle stick as you can see in this hot pan glue I just get a little bit of it and then I'm just going to rub it along the bottom of this styrofoam shape I kind of like to use the pan glue it goes quickly sometimes I don't always have to fool with the with the actual glue gun and it dries a little bit differently okay and then I am just going to place my grad uh, shape on top of the styrofoam base hold it there for a couple seconds make sure that the glue dries make sure your hot glue is not too too hot or you will melt your styrofoam and then that gets kind of ugly Okay, so there's our shape. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach Brittany's name to this centerpiece. And what I've decided is I want to put Brittany's name right up here on top of the grad hat. All right, that's why I said this will probably look better on a place card table or maybe a cake table. So I'm just going to take another little bit of my pan glue and I am going to, uh, instead of attach it to Brittany's name, I'm just going to put a little bit on this grad hat right where I want it to go. I want it to be in three places to connect with this grad hat. So I'm going to just put it right there like that. Hold it there until the glue dries. Okay, this is going to be a really great centerpiece. that's cool okay there's Brittany's name on top of the grad hat making this a nice big centerpiece this would be way too big for a table for an actual centerpiece because um, if you're sitting on one side you wouldn't be able to see your friend who's on the other side of you so you definitely want to put this as like an entryway or um, on a specialty table maybe even a gift table you could put this on it'd be really cute all right Next component that we're going to add is I want to add our graduating year. And I want to put our graduating year right about here. But I want it to pop off of the hat. I don't want it to be flush on there. So that's where this little 
rectangular piece of styrofoam comes in. I'm going to hot glue the back of this and then I'm going to glue it right there so that I can attach our 2002 to it. So let me just put a little bit of hot glue in the back of this. I love this pan glue, it's fun. It's all goopy. But it works really good and it's really fast and you don't always have to push down the, the hot glue gun. And I'm just going to attach it right there. Look how fast that that glues to the to the other piece of styrofoam. Easy, right? And now you can see that it gives it a little bit of a 3D look. And then we'll take our 2002 and we're going to attach it right onto that piece of styrofoam. So here I go again. I am, oh shoot, I dropped the popsicle stick in the hot glue. That could be a problem. All right, so I am going to just put a little bit of hot glue on the back of this 2002. Not too much. You never need a lot of this hot glue. You know, I say a lot of times less is more, and this is one of those cases. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to attach this now right to that piece. Hold it there for a moment. And look how nice that looks. Awesome, right? This is quick, easy, inexpensive. Costs very little to make this. And it has definitely going to have the wow factor. It's got your guest of honor's name, the year she's graduating, grad hat, says grad on the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some balloons to this one. Now, I've always told you that on the back of these um, bases, we leave you just enough room that you can place your balloon weight. So I've already attached my balloons to this weight, and then I took two foil balloons, and I am just going to place that weight on the back of this centerpiece. Okay? I'm going to tie this balloon down a little bit lower. Our final component for this centerpiece will be a little bit of Ting Ting. We've talked about this before, it comes in a big package for a little price and adds just a little bit of subtle color to your centerpiece. I'm just going to place this um, through different parts of this centerpiece and um, it's just going to add a little bit of color to it, kind of fun uh, element for this particular centerpiece. Like I said, it, you don't need a lot of it. So there's your graduate 2012 centerpiece that you can use on a place card table, food table, uh, even a gift table. And um, you can make this coordinate with the other um, do-it-yourself centerpiece that I showed you in one of my earlier videos for a graduate. It's just another coordinating piece. So until next time, go to styroscript.com for all of your letters, numbers, shapes, and be sure to personalize your centerpiece. Make your guest of honor feel really important. Mm -hmm.